Is a rise in coronavirus cases tied just to increased testing, or is there a larger concern? Plus, a look at who is getting sick more as more counties are reopening for business. Camera 7's Matthew Smith is separating fact from fiction. We know COVID-19 and testing can be a hot-button issue for folks. As cases increase, the president has discussed it at length, including at this weekend's rally in Tulsa. When you do testing to that extent, you're going to find more people. You're going to find more cases. So I said to my people, slow the testing down, please. They test and they test. We got tests that people don't know what's going on. After the rally, the White House said that was a joke. But it takes us back. Fact or fiction, rising numbers in COVID-19 tests are tied to increased testing. That's fiction, according to the World Health Organization, which noted an increase in hospitalizations as well, adding this. The world is in a new and dangerous phase. Many people are understandably fed up with being at home. Countries are understandably eager to open up their societies and economies. But the virus is still spreading fast. In fact, California, a state Washington once looked at as it was hatching regional COVID-19 plans, has hit a rough patch. That state has hit the highest number of COVID-19 hospitalizations since the beginning of the pandemic. More than 3,500 people were in the hospital at one point this weekend. Now, California isn't the only state seeing a rise in cases. When it comes to coronavirus, we're seeing a new trend. Fact or fiction, we're seeing a rise in coronavirus cases within the younger population. Well, according to a new study, this is true, specifically in our state. Now, several states are seeing these types of statistics, including Florida and Texas, where large spikes in cases are causing concerns. Now, it's also raising questions about what is fueling those numbers, relaxed restrictions or a lack of social distancing, though it may be too early to say definitively. Matthew Smith, Cairo 7 News.